So what is the difference between a resident and a fellow? The medical training hierarchy can be super confusing, so I get this question a lot. I'll try to break it down for you as simply as I can. If you want to be a doctor, you got to go to medical school. That's step one. Actually, no. Let's back up. You have to go to college first, take all the necessary pre-med classes. That's step one. Then you get into medical school. Step two. Medical school is four years. After you complete that, you have your MD or your DO degree, depending on which type of medical school you went to. I'm not going to get into the differences between those, but the net result is the same. You're a doctor now. But you can't practice independently yet. Once you have your medical degree, then you apply for and hopefully match into a residency. This is to get training in the field that you want to go into and specialize in. Pediatrics, psychiatry, general surgery. The length of that training is entirely dependent on what field you go into. OBGYN is four years. Pediatrics is three. Neurosurgery is seven. You might be wondering where the intern fits into all of this. Intern is simply just a term for the first year of your residency training, regardless of what specialty you're in. At the beginning of the show's Scrubs and Grey's Anatomy, all those characters are interns. They're just starting their first year of training after finishing medical school. So let's say you finish a three-year internal medicine residency. What's next? You have two basic options. One, you can go work in a clinic or a hospital independently as a general practitioner of internal medicine. Or two, you can do additional training to further specialize into another specialty in a fellowship. This is very similar to residency, but it's in a subspecialty. Certain subspecialties require you to do a residency first and then a fellowship in their particular area. A cardiology, for example, does three years of internal medicine training and then does three years of cardiology training before they can be an independent cardiologist. You can't go straight from medical school to a cardiology fellowship. You have to do an internal medicine residency in between. I'm a GI fellow right now, so I also did a three-year internal medicine residency and now I'm in the first year of three years of GI training. After completion of that three years of GI training or fellowship, then I can practice as an independent GI doctor. People often ask if residency or fellowship is easier. It's a difficult question to answer because they're honestly just different. In general, residency has longer hours and has more work that you have to do. Fellowship though is subspecialized, so there's a lot of really specialized knowledge that you have to learn and you have a lot more responsibility. I certainly prefer fellowship to residency, but that's partly because I'm doing my fellowship in the specialty that I'm most interested in. Let me know if you have any other questions about residency or fellowship or anything in between and uh, subscribe for more videos. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,